G'day, welcome to Jazz Beer Reviews. Okay, we're going to review a beer that Swill and Grog sent me. Uh, it's maybe a bit slow review on beers. Uh, welcomed uh, my second child about uh, 10 weeks ago, so um, life's been pretty busy. It's always busy anyway, but um, get around to trying this one today. Um, this is a beer, Sagres Cerveza. I think where it's brewed, I'm pretty sure it's brewed in Portugal. Portuguese beer. Yep, it's definitely Portuguese brewed in Portugal. Okay, let's, uh, it's a lager. This bottle, I think is a one litre, and it's a 5% ABV, so Swill and Grog reviewed this. I think he reviewed it with his brother-in-law on memory. Let's crack her open. How's that for a, uh, how's that for a, uh, like a long AK, okay, if you live in Australia? Okay. That's all I'm going to pour for now. We'll save the rest, drink it throughout the day, here on a Sunday, Father's Day 2018. Let's just set it up here. As you see in the background here, um, home brewing with the old man again. So this is the older uh, brewing fridge, temperature controller up here, uh, yeah, he boiled this yesterday, there's a Cubis Canadian Blonde, made up about 22 litres using Brewing Answer 2 from Coopers, so I think about 4 and something percent for that beer, no uh, experience. Not, not experimenting like I did years ago. It's just uh, pretty much brewing beer for me, old man, but brewing beer with dad and, and then just making just a, a, a quenchable beer for the summer. And I actually brewed a Cubes uh, Canadian blonde in, uh, I used a 15 litre water container, something similar to this, but the 15 litre version. And um, I just used the kit. Actually, I take water out to put the kit in there and make space for the, for the kit to fit in. And I brewed that and um, had one last night and not, not a bad little beer. Yeah, just made it a little, I think I got about, Tom I got it out. I just siphoned it out about 13 litres or something worked out to be. Anyway, it's not too bad and this is actually, yeah, brewed 22 litres from bold yesterday. And back onto this Portuguese beer, it's 5% ABV. Clear, uh, golden appearance, wandering of head. Look at the smell. Oh, it smells very European, smells very smashable. If you're in the middle of summer, looks like this kind of beer. Saying that, it's the uh, you know, second day of spring today, so um, winter is over, White Walk is defeated, and um, yeah, onwards and upwards to uh, the March to Christmas. And now, um, our summer here in Australia. Righto, so uh, let's have a go at the taste, eh? Oh, well, the smell. Like I said, smell of beer. Now the taste. This beer's really cold, so it's been deep chilling for 10 weeks in this beer fridge of mine, and the beer fridge is the one you can hear. It's just there. Uh, there's a bloke who watches, watches these videos. Did your name, sorry, bud. But, um, I think it's the dryer go. It's the old fridge. The Monty Beer fridge. Mrs. wanted to chuck it out. I said no. It's been a good little fridge. Good freezer on it. If you've got a good fridge, just don't chuck them out, do you? Righto. Um, let's get into it. Cheers. <coughs> it's a bit of breediness. A little bit of a watery flavour to it. Not a real, not as sweet as I would imagine a five percent beer. Get a little bit of breadiness. Oh, it's a cold beer, brain freeze. I get a little bit of breadiness. A 
it's a cold beer, very cold, probably not good for reviewing when it's this cold. But it is warming up, so it is good for that. Got the next door neighbours dash hounds going, got the daughter upstairs you can hear. Sounds sounds on the neighbourhood. Um anyway, this beer, brainless there's a corner, dips out sweetness wise. Got happy Jan upstairs. <coughs> Dog's in trouble. Dog's been kicked out of the house. <laughs> right, I flavour wise got breeness. It kind of drops off. It's uh, a little bit of mellow bitterness. Pretty like body. Uh, nothing spectacular. I think it's. I remember it's Swirling Girl review. What is a you know just made par score. Very drinkable. It's really is a, a real meal of summer kind of beer. You just smash it down. Yeah, it's just very. It's not horrible tasting. It's just very bland. It's a bland beer that obviously goes good when you're eating salty food, salty pork, uh, salty meat, any salty meat, anything salty, anything, anything with dinner, nothing better than a beer at dinner. Yeah. So, uh, Sagres Cerveza. Ah, uh, oh, that probably gets a score. Oh, there you go. It, it is drinkable. It's not very memorable. I probably wouldn't buy it. I, I'd probably drink it. Oh, actually, there's other beers in Portugal I've seen. So we will talk about. Oh, no. Score. Let's go B minus. It's going to get C plus. Go B minus. It's quite drinkable. It's just very bland. That's all. Uh, obviously, pear. It needs food, too. You need to be eating salty stuff with it, I feel. Okay, right, thanks for watching this uh, episode of uh, Jez Beer Reviews. Um, I've got more beers there to try. I've got that um, Baltica. The Baltica 9, the big, big can, one litre can of it is. It's Willow Rock Semi. And then I've also got the St. Bernardus. Um, that strong one. I should get that to. Well, I should drink that very shortly, actually, because as soon as it heats up, it's a bit hard drinking. Real strong um, Belgian style beers. Summer, you're sweating. Yeah, I know. Till next time, guys, I'll catch us all later.